Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here, and welcome or welcome back to a new video on the channel. And today, guys, here we are to continue the AFL 23 rebuilding series. In today's video, we're going to be attempting to rebuild St Kilda in AFL 23, and this does officially mark the halfway point of the rebuilding series. We've already been through the first half, and now, yeah, this one is uh, essentially the halfway point. So, definitely getting through the series. A heartbreak in round one, well, in the preseason, losing to Port Adelaide by one point. But anyway, though, of course, uh, I'm I'm assuming that most of you guys would have watched a, a rebuild before uh, and it's pretty simple we just take the club through the trade period through the first season through the trade period try and get uh, strength in the list and then um, yeah we take them through a second season to see how we go with the brand new list so of course um, the year started off all right, but in the 150th game, we do get the, well, 150th year game, we do get the job done, which is very nice indeed. Now got the Suns Saturday Night Marvel two-point win, so picking up a couple of wins now, playing the Pies, uh, and I'll be letting you guys know of the full beat of the full rebuilding list at the end of the video. 23-point loss to Collingwood, and we're sitting in 13th at the moment, relatively comfortably, which it's not really a spot that you sit comfortably, but yeah, we're sitting there at the moment. Carlton won that one by 13, 13 points. It's fair to say our season is in. A little bit of trouble. Got the power now, Friday night, Marvel. And we lose by seven, so the winds are not stacking up early. And now we've got top of the table, North. Sunday afternoon at Marvel. And we smash them by 91. Let the top of the table, North, know about it. Good win and a percentage boosting which we, which we needed. And I think it was like 91 points or something. So a very good win indeed. But now we're going to uh, Adelaide. And a really nice 51 point win over Adelaide. So the season is repairing itself. Uh, nicely done indeed. Now playing the Giants. The percentage has gone up a fair bit uh, in the past few weeks. And unfortunately enough... Uh, Pretty big loss there to the um, Giants. Isn't great. We're only one game off the bottom of the ladder, and uh, we're getting closer to the bottom than what we would like to be. Uh, we thought we were going all right there for a moment. We've got the mid-season draft, which we will not be p taking part in. Uh, we've got the Swans now on a Thursday night at the SCG, and um, yeah, it looks like this game could be trouble. Oh no, not trouble at all. 47-point win. Gee, this has been a very inconsistent year. We've been surprising the good teams and losing to the not-so-good ones. And eight goals, 20. You're kidding me. You always have got to feel sorry when that happens. Sucks, and especially when the wins are just as important. Uh, yeah, eight goals, 20 is not going to cut it. Got the Eagles now in the West, Sunday afternoon. And this could very well decide who could finish bottom. I mean, our percentage wouldn't suggest we've been losing some tight ones, and we're... Equal bottom with a very good percentage of 102. And that Essendon is the next. Oh no, yeah, Essendon. We're very close to Essendon in eighth percentage. So uh, yeah, we're rising up. We're still a game outside of the top eight. So we're a game out of the top eight. And oh no, we're two games out of the top eight. Two games out of seventh and a game off the bottom. So we could really be finishing anywhere. We're in mixed territory. Nice win there. Now North, who are once top of the table, they've drastically fallen. They've won their past couple though. Two games out of the eight. Absolutely got to get the win here. Lose by four. So I think now we need to win every game if we're to make finals and rely on a couple of results to go our way. And that's not going to do anything. So I think it's pretty safe to say that our season is over. Um, yeah, well that'll definitely do it now. So unfortunately enough, we're not going to be making finals. Um... I think the best we can probably finish is probably about 10th. Nice win there over the Tigers, but at this stage it doesn't really matter. If we can finish strongly and beat the Cats and um, Lions, that'd be good. And we beat the Cats as well, so a little late season confidence booster. Now got the Lions to play as well. And um, we get absolutely thumped to end off the year. And I think that sees us finishing 14th, which realistically, that's not bad. We get... Uh, a good draft pick and the season is complete, the competition is complete and we can see who won in the finals, which it was the Greater Western Sydney Giants, which defeated Port Adelaide, who, I don't know whether it's just me or Port Adelaide getting all the grand finals in all these rebuilds. I think they've been there a countless amount of times, whether they've won them or not is a different story, but yeah, Port Adelaide do seem to be in most of these grand finals, so I think probably if we do have any off-contract talent, I think they're probably not a bad place to rob. Uh, some talent off of in all honesty because uh, yeah they seem to get there a fair bit so right let's see who polled highly from St Kilda Ross only the 13 Brownlow votes King kicked 
26 on Thoughtless for another player. No, King with the 26. Uh... Adams with the 28, Rising Star votes. No Owens, interestingly enough. And then King, key forward, no surprise. And I don't think anybody else would have been in the team, no. Right, so now it's just as to who do we want to take. Um, which I think from Port, it's probably not a bad idea to just straight away go for um, team man, like go for, um, go for search all players and have a look at free agents. So, um, we're going to have a pretty good pool to uh, pick from. We're going to want the AFL. We're going to want Port Adelaide. Because they seem to have Bonner, Evans, Fantasia, Hayes, Jackson, McKenzie, Narkle, and McEntee. Well, I think we'll sign McEntee on then, in all honesty. I think we could probably get him uh, for quite a cheap deal indeed. So, I think they're just going to go ahead and offer what well, I don't think they desire a uh, promotion and that is already the first one done jed mcintyre welcome to the footy club uh we've done a good job there and now it's going to go and see unrestricted restricted who's a restricted free agent sloan walker want to try and think of somebody for the long term parish is a good one to try and get perhaps um but aside from that though it doesn't look like there's a whole heap here webster is our one, one that's out of contract. Again, Boak, Dixon, Jonas, Lysette, they're towards the older bracket. So I'm not going to bother chasing uh, any players like that. Now, so now that we've done something at least, uh, if we go to list management and to player transfers, it should be, there we go, beautiful. Uh, all, the good, all the good ones are already off. Uh, Melikan, Silvani, Himmelberg and Dude. Some younger players there have already moved clubs, but we've got McEntee to the footy club and now it's just time to go through the contracts as we usually do. It's a very it's a very simple uh, trade period. So Nick Caulfield is obviously one which I'd be happy to sign on. Shall he be a certain price? Uh, he wants to forty seven, that's all good. I'm happy to offer him up that. Uh, he was a high draft pick, so there probably is trade value around him, but he probably does slot into the best 22 potentially in the back line. Zach Jones is an interesting one. Uh, Jade Gresham, I'm happy to sign him on again, though only for the right price. Um, 444, that's all good. Uh, I'm happy to offer him up that. I'm going to go back to Zach Jones. I'm going to see how much he wants, because, um, yeah, if, if, um, yeah, if he's too much... Then probably 430 is probably the highest so I can go on 397. That's all good. Um, right, 397. There we go. He has accepted. Beautiful. There we go. Uh, so we're going to go to the next one now, which is Hunter Clark, who is another very high draft pick. So got to make sure signing those players on. And he wants $540,000 a year. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can get him a little bit cheaper. Um, 540 is a fair bit. I'll come back to that. I'll consider that. But that is a that is a lot of money. Ryan Burns, he's probably a cheap one, which we could sign on for about that 300000 mark. He's accepted. Beautiful. Uh, right. So now the next one. I, think, I don't think there's a whole heap more at the moment. Higgins and Bytel are a couple of others. Higgins, of course, is going to get a contract extension. We know that. Um, he wants 491000 a year. That's easy. Happy to offer him up that. Uh, and, I mean, look, he wants 490000 And uh, Higgins, uh, what's his name? Um, what is it? Clark, he wants 540000 And I definitely can tell you he won't be getting that. Uh, the highest I'm happy to give Hunter Clark would be about 450000 So, yeah, um, he's probably going to be traded. But we've got Jack Bytel as well. Um, and now, let's see who else needs a contract. Oscar Adams. Well, I mean, he had a great year as the uh, as the rising star player. So, of course, um, happy to sign him on. So, he's going to get a um, he's going to get a contract. Right, we're going to go down here now. Paris, uh, happy to sign him on as well for the right deal, but I think that's pretty fair. He's unhappy. What about if I was to give him a promotion to the primary list uh, and give him a two-year deal, and he's not going to take it. So he's going to be leaving at the end of the year. 
Uh, let's see, who else do we need to do? Tom Campbell. Uh, he can probably go at the end of the year as well. Leo Connolly, what sort of money is he on? Uh, I'm happy to offer him up this if he wants it. He wants 193, okay. Uh, happy to keep him as well then. Uh, right, let's see, who else have we got? Mackenzie, he can stay as well if he wants to accept the right money, which I'm not going to go too much more than this. He doesn't want to, all right. Um, who else have we got? We've got Highmore. Uh, yeah, you know what, he can stay. If, if he wants a certain amount of money as well. It really does come down the money, which, um, yeah, that's what can really set up these contract extensions. I saw that Mason Wood was out of contract. He's the one which I'm going to keep. Uh, if he can stay on the Category A, at least brilliant. We've just got ourselves a steal, but if not, that's all right. You cannot spend more than three years on the rookie list. All right. Uh, so we're going to give him a primary list extension. I mean... He's a pretty good player. He's an 86 overall. That's really easy. Uh, right. Mason Wood is done. Webster, he's another one. And that is it. So he's one of the the free agents. And again, I'm happy to offer him up a deal. Uh, but he's unhappy. So he's going to be leaving as well. So uh, that's pretty simple now. We've done it. Uh, and I did say that I'm going to come back to Clark, which I am going to come back to Clark. I'm going to leave off at where I've offered him. I'm going to give him a final total of 451000 on a four-year deal, and that is what I'm happy to do. And he wants 535, uh, as they feel they've been lobeled in the past. He's a young player. Is it just worth doing it with him? Is it just worth giving him the money? I'm going to go to 500,000. We're going to go to 501,000. And he wants 535. Look. Okay. He can get it. We'll keep our man. He can, he can have it. And, um, yeah, that means that anyone else that has a contract is definitely not going to be able to be signed on right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm just going to refresh. Or at least try. All right. So who's out of contract? Uh, 2023 is what we're looking for in the contract expires section. All right. So Timmy Webster is one. Daniel McKenzie. All right. Webster, McKenzie, and Campbell. Uh, Webster, McKenzie, and Campbell. So I said one club which I'm going to is Port Adelaide. Um, I don't know who it is in this football club, but there's plenty of players that are driving this club to good success. Now, Jace Burgoyne is an interesting one. Um, I reckon I could easily get him here for a cheap price. Uh, let's see if we can get him for that. He wants 253000 Run and carry off the back line is something which the Saints are good at. And we've already got plenty of plenty of players in that area. But more in that area would be great. And Jace Burgoyne has accepted. Uh, what we're going to do to give up is we are going to go ahead and we are going to give up... Um, the Ruckman, whoever it is. Uh, I'll know it when I see his name. It is, uh, what is it? Um, Campbell, there we go. Now, I doubt they'll do it straight away. They might. Uh, yep, yeah, they want a little bit more. So, I'm going to give them pick 46. And I think that should be enough to do the deal. Good start. We're going to Port Adelaide again to get another one of their players. Because one player can do goodness, but I don't think one player can win you a premiership. So, who else on this list might be doing damage that we could trade? Because Webster, we know he's out of contract. We know he's an 87 rated. So, I think probably key forward depth. Somebody that's out of favour at Port Adelaide is Mitch Georgiades. Change of scenery. Come to Victoria. Come play for St Kilda. And uh, he wants 481,000. Um, look, I'll... I'll go for 68,000. Is he going to accept that 481,000? Is there anybody else? Todd Marshall could be a good one to go after. Uh, he's an 87. Oh, that's going to be tough to get, though. Uh, is there any other sort of key forward or something? Power Pepper, Junior Rioli, Rosie's, Golly Sin. Um, right. I think we're going to trace. Let's see. Um, let's have a little look. Uh, it might just be... Georgiades, in all honesty. We'll just chase Georgiades, and I'll give him that 481, which he wants. Um, right, 481,000. Contend with Port Adelaide, a high draft pick, and beautiful, there we go. So I feel like a relatively straight swap could be made, and then if not, we do have other options. Uh, but yeah, Webster for Georgiades. I'll ask a pick for it as well. 
but I think aside from that, I think that we should be able to get a relatively good deal done. And there we go. So all of a sudden, we've already traded with Port Adelaide twice. Uh, and I don't really feel like... I, th I think we could get something for Paris from Port Adelaide as well. Um, let's see who they've got. Do they have any, like, um, underrated player or something that I could get? Probably not. So it's probably now over to picks, which I don't know if that's going to do it for me. So we're going to go to a different club now. Uh, we're going to go to Hawthorne, a club which finished towards the bottom end of the ladder. They do have pick one. Um, I'm going to offer them Paris. Uh, let's just throw in their first couple of picks. Immediately decline. Let's just do it for pick one. We might have to... Um, yeah, we might have to try and work around this deal. So I'm going to give up pick... Uh, let's give up pick 40, 64, 82, and just ask this question. And they immediately decline the offer. I think that we're going to have to throw in a little bit more spice. A future round two and a future round three. Paris, to get pick one, immediately decline the offer. Uh, yeah, I probably am paying significant unders here. We'll go future round two, round three, and then we'll give up pick 26. I think this might be a little bit closer to what they want. Uh, don't take long to decline. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting pick one. I'll probably have to give up a future round one draft pick and then ask for like their round two draft pick perhaps. Uh, let's just see what we can get in the door potentially. Maybe a future round three and then we could maybe do trades like that. Immediately decline. All right, um, let's just do this then. Just going to keep on going until we get there. Immediately decline. The problem is, is that I know they're going to accept. So what about if we trade our futures? Um, perhaps. Okay, no. All right, well then, what about if we do the future? Oh, this is this is where it gets really hard. What about if we just give up all of our second round picks? So give up 40, 26, and our future second. Maybe that might work. Don't take long to decline. All right, so we're not going to be trading with Hawthorne for pick one. Uh, I wonder who else finished. Oh, actually, we don't have to just give up on pick one, though. Um, we could probably get, like, a future round one draft pick in, perhaps, and maybe, like, another pick in this year's draft for Paris. Immediately decline. What about just a future round one draft pick? Because, I mean, they could be giving up. Who knows what they could be giving up. Right. Uh, I think Paris is going to be, like, the essential sweetener in another deal, then. Uh, so let's see who else comes out of contract this year. So we've got Paris. If he's the only one which it's actually looking quite likely. Paris, no, McKenzie, Paris and McKenzie, and I think that's probably going to be it. Paris and McKenzie. So maybe that's where we can do another trade with the Hawks, is for, like, Paris, McKenzie, maybe try and get that pick one involved in some way, shape, or form. Uh, right, so we're going to go Paris and McKenzie. The only thing is, though, is that we could be getting an actual um, established player, though. Yeah, that's 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 why I'm not going to do the trade. Uh, we could be getting an established player. Lots of these clubs have established players. Collingwood have a fair few. Carlton have quite a few. Um, Acres, he'd be a good one to get. But again, though, probably Cow, and he could be a good one. But we've already got plenty of those players that run off the um the wing. What a what a Saints need. Uh, I actually don't really know. Maybe like a backup ruck or something. Tom DeConing, what a good one he'd be to chase. Pair with Ron Marshall, could play forward. Um, I think this could be a really good deal if we could get him in. Let's have a look. 481000 per year. If I'm giving that to Clark, of course I'm going to be giving that to Tom DeConing. Brilliantly done. Accepted the offer. He's an 85. Uh, McKenzie is going to be the main part of this trade. Uh, let's see. Where is he, McKenzie? Um, where is he? Let's see. Just give me a moment to track him down on here. There we, there he is, 84. So I think it might actually have to be um, two players for one. Paris and McKenzie for De Koning and maybe pick 30, perhaps. We'll just see if we can do this and don't take long to decline. All right, then what about just pick 50? Just a straight deal. Don't, uh, all right, so they're still not taking long. What about if we were to give up pick 40 and then we get pick 50, uh, pick 30 in return, sorry. Uh, decline after long deliberations. Then we can just throw in, like, late picks or something, 64. Beautiful. There we go. We have done a beautiful trade there. We've picked up Deconing and pick 30, and we gave up McKenzie, Paris, pick 40, and 64. 
with Port, we gave up Webster. We got George Yardies and pick 40. And then for um, for Jace Burgoyne, we gave up Tom Campbell and pick 46. So nicely done there. We actually haven't done a whole heap. And as I say, we haven't given up a whole heap. But where we can strengthen our list, that's what I like to look at doing. So um, what about, is there anybody AFL under 18 champions? Can we like sign any of these on a... On a um, Let's just try Sullivan. Can, oh, okay. Right. I was wondering if we could actually sign any of them on straight away, but got to get them through the draft. So free agency, unrestricted, restricted. Let's have a look at who's available as an unrestricted free agent. We could reunite the Crouch brothers. Murphy could be a good option. Uh, Adams is a key defender. I don't really know if we need that. Archie, what's his age? He is 26. He could be decent, I guess. Um... He could be decent indeed, but yeah, just trying to strengthen. What about the VFL? Is there anybody in the VFL team that could be picked up? Um, Sandraham Zeb Zebras. Uh, is there anybody in the VFL side uh, that could be just put onto the list or something? Uh, a key forward in Owens. I mean, a key forward is probably not a bad person to actually chase or now well. Uh, I've got no clue who these players are, but... Uh, there is like a 71 key forward or something. Um, oh, and I can't even sign them on anyway. Uh, right. So, let's go ahead and do AFL. Um, club, doesn't really matter. And free agency, we'll go unrestricted. Let's just have a little look at this list. So, let's just see what we got. Because we can... Well, Reese Matheson, a big, big bodied on baller. He could be a good one to look at. Cunningham could be another good one to look at. Um, let's see who else... Uh, is there? I feel like key forward support, something like an Ash Johnson or something, would be a good one. Just a bit of forward support. Will Snelling, something that could run on the wings as well, even though uh, we've got plenty of wing runners and stuff. Uh, there's, n I don't, I don't know if there's too many holes in this list. In all honesty, I feel like it's not a bad list at all. Uh, it's just trying to find what might be a couple of missing pieces. Um, so yeah, I'm not actually quite sure what I can do to, um, yeah, like, find just those little missing tiny parts, but I'm going to have a look, and I'm just going to see if there's anything. Uh, right, let's see. Melchrim, he could be a good one, just to sign up for a couple of years, uh, or something like that. Uh, North have got quite a few players. Bonner, Evans, uh, just having a look at Port. Um, Mackenzie could be a good one to sign on or something. Cochin, Mansell, Revolt. Gee, the, oh, my goodness, the Tigers have a lot of players that they don't want anymore. Um, and then Sydney, let's see, Ryan Clark. He could be a decent one to have, like a bit of a tagger sort of a player. Um, yeah, that could be a good one to get. Cripps, I don't know whether he's at the end of his contract or whatever, but he could be one to look at. Um, right, let's see, Poulter, Sweet, Williams. Ooh, sweet. He could... Williams. He's definitely one to have a look at. Bailey Williams would be a great sort of utility to have a look at. Uh, and then I believe this is probably who's already changed clubs or something again. Because, yeah, these are not the clubs that they originally played for that have been picked up. Right. Uh, Bailey Williams. I'm going to sign him on from the Western Bulldogs. Uh, this is a pretty easy one, really. A non-negotiable one. Uh, I don't know what he's doing sitting in... A delisted free like free agency sort of thing. I don't know what he what on earth he's doing there. Uh, right, and then we're gonna go AFL as well, uh, and then we're gonna go unrestricted again, and we are gonna go ahead and um, pick up a because we've already got the Coney, so we don't really need another ruck. It was just oh, I thought of Archie. I'm not gonna go for Archie Matheson as a big bodied on baller. Thank you very much. Uh, I think he could be one which we could uh, capitalise as well with at the club. Uh, he's on the. He wants a promotion. I can give him a promotion. I'll give him the contract. He desires more years, and again, that'll be a really cheap play, which we don't have to pay a lot for. So uh, there we go. I feel like we've done plenty. Uh, let's just make sure that everybody's actually successfully gone through, which, yep, everything has successfully gone through. Williams and Matheson have signed on here. And in all honesty, I don't feel like there's a whole heap more that we need to do. Can we have a look at the national draft? We can, and we can view the draft pool. Uh, and let's just say, for example, this P. Ashcroft defender, can we do anything about them? 
No, we can't. All right, so we, just, we can have a little look at the draft pool. I don't really feel like we need to, but yeah, that P. Ashcroft would be a great one to get. So the Hawks have got pick one. We've got pick five. So I'm going to see if I can orchestrate a deal with Hawthorne because I really do actually want to get that man. I really want to get that P. Ashcroft player. So we're going to go with Hawthorne. We're going to try and uh, give up our pick five for their pick one, and we're going to give up our future first because, uh, of course, we can do that. For pick 22 uh, and 44, we're going to uh, trade into this year's draft um, and, yeah, get more picks. And they decline the offer after some consideration. Uh, all right, well, then we'll do... I still want that 44, but you know what? This is where we don't need these later picks. Uh, I don't want these useless picks. Um, decline the offer after some consideration. All right, then. What about if I was to slide the pick back to a 62? Uh, I think that will be able to work. So, just going to slide it back to a 62. And, um, yeah, I, I think that was pretty fair. Yeah, just give me one moment. And did the deal go through? A decliner. All right, so I thought that was pretty fair. Uh, I might just have to give up a bit of late, more rubbish. Uh, no, they still don't. Now, this has got to be the deal. Decline after long considerations. 84, this is the absolute last. I, I don't have a lot more that I can offer up, in all honesty. I feel like this is the best that I can do. Decline the offer after long deliberations. I'm close to reaching an agreement. Um, uh, okay, then. I guess we're just going to have to take 62 out of the equation and just leave it like this, I reckon. We'll offer it up. We'll see. They accept the offer. So there we go. We've got the pick one. We gave up our pick five, pick one, and then we got 22 as well this year. And now it's just time to give up this junk and just trade trade into this year's draft. We're going to go with Sydney this time. And all this back-end junk, which I don't need, we can try and trade and, and get a better pick in return or even next year's draft. Because, uh, yeah, all this junk we just don't need. Um, and right, so we've got a very good batch of um, yeah top draft picks here. But again, I want to keep on trying to keep on trying to um, yeah get into round two and stuff like that. I want to keep on trying to get into round two, uh, and I'm just going to see what I can do uh, with some other clubs. Right, I'm going to give up future round four with Adelaide. I decline the offer after some consideration. Uh, what about if I was to do the 75 and 84? What about if we were to do a little bit more in this year's draft? No, what about... I mean, the 174 has really got to be part of the deal. But we'll just take it out for now uh, and do that. And they decline again. Um, right, I don't really know what else that I can do, in all honesty. Uh, yeah, I think... I think this deal with Adelaide is going to be scrapped uh, and we're just going to move on to the next club. Right, we're going to go to West Coast now. Going to see what they've got. And in all honesty, it is not a lot. I want to try and find another pick around the 30s or something. So just going to see who's got one there. Brisbane's is a little bit too far back at 38. Uh, I don't know what Collingwood have got. 30. That is perfect. Uh, we should be able to orchestrate our deal here relatively comfortable. Uh, I was going to ask this question first, see how less we can give up. Don't take long to decline. Uh, right, then we're going to throw the future round three into it, which I think should be enough. It was nearly enough to get him over the line, but we'll offer up this. Uh, they decline the offer after long deliberation, so obviously they're not, they're not going to want to do it as well. A uh, pick 32 or something would probably be quite ideal. Uh, they've got 33. Oh, I'm I'm committed to do that. Right, we'll give up uh, 84, 174, future round 4 and 5. We'll first ask that question. Uh, and then, I mean, really, I think, you know what? Probably Brisbane's pick was probably a good one to chase, actually. Um, so we're going to go, right, round 4, 5, 174, 84. Um... Decline the offer after some consideration. Uh, what about 43 then? I think that should be enough. Jeez, still not. All right, well then we're going to... I think, did West Coast have 45 or something? Was it 45? Yeah, all right. Well, then we'll just ask this question then. We're just going to keep on trying um, to get a pick. Uh, right, and I think... Right, now we're going to have to go for the Western Bulldogs. What have they got? They've got 49. All right, this is really the last crack which we've got at trying to get another pick in. 
Um, after long deliberations. All right. Well, now that means we're going to go back to um, back to Essendon that had the 33, and we're going to go for right. We're going to go for round three, four, 174 and 84. We're going to give up the future round three this time, and uh, still not. I wish that there was room to add one more thing. Uh, who's got pick, like, 35 or something? Uh, 35. Looking for 35. I mean, for all I know, Port could actually have it, and we just didn't know the whole time. Um, it's not Gold Coast. Is it going to be the Giants? We haven't gone through a few clubs still. Uh, 42, that's too far back. Uh, that's way too far back to slide. Melbourne... They got 35. All right, that's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, and just to offload some more of this um, after long deliberations. All right, I think the best that we're going to actually get is Brisbane 38 now, in all honesty. Um, round three, four, 174 and 84. And we've probably offered this up to Brisbane before, in all honesty. Yep, we have. Uh, but let's just go for their 43. I feel like it's just on repeat, really. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I, I feel like it was on repeat there for a moment because we'd already done it. Um, yeah, we'd already done it. Right, now it's just about sliding back in the draft and just seeing what we can do. A future round second for 33. Beautiful. We're done. We are done. We are done. We are done. Uh, let me just make sure that there's nothing else which I need to give up. Uh, that's worthy of anything and just uh, I don't know maybe trading back into this year's draft or something seeing what Adelaide have got they got pick 50 um, in all honesty I feel like we could probably probably make this work uh, probably make it work don't want to give up too much for them but all right uh, we'll give up the future round eight then and they decline the offer uh, right so, what, did, what pick did Brisbane have as well? This is where it's good to see what late picks they've got. And that is perfect, because I think that should perfectly work out for our deal. Uh, no, it doesn't actually, believe it or not. So, now we're going to be looking into the 60s, probably, and seeing what sort of picks clubs have in the 60s, uh, which I think Adelaide had 68. What do Carlton have? I want a little bit more than 68. 66. All right. Uh, we can we can do that then. Five, six, seven, and eight for 66. Probably giving up a fair bit here, but no. All right. Well, then that means I think the best offer which we're probably going to get is Adelaide's 68. So happy to offer up for that because uh, you can still get some decent things at 68. It's not just pure junk towards there. You can still get some all right things. And okay, no. I uh, saw so that Frio did have 71. But yeah, this is going to be the last trade. Uh, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And we just go, okay, and move on. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Right, because we want to try and get started on this second year. We haven't done a whole heap of trades. Uh, well, we haven't done a whole heap of player refreshing. That's what I was meant to say. We've done plenty of trades. We haven't done a whole heap of player refreshing, though. Uh, we've kept the list as similar as possible. And um, yeah, that's always good when you try and do that. Try and keep the list similar. Um, that is always good. So just trying to scour around and see while I was talking uh, if there's any other clubs which want our offer of plenty of draft picks for one. Um, but yeah, I think now that uh, I've realised what this actually might be worth, which is absolutely nothing anyway, uh, we'll chase up the 77 because that is a round four pick. Uh, that is a late round four pick. And Richmond immediately accepts. So there we go. Uh, we did plenty of trades, if we just, you guys can pause the video if you guys haven't seen what trades we've done, but those are the trades we've done, we've got the all important pick one, we've moved up the order, uh, and yeah, we've done a couple of free agent signings as well, so... Now it's time to go ahead and hop into the rest of, uh, yeah, well, next year and the rest of this year, which is like the draft and all that. Uh, the trade period's closed now, which doesn't really matter. We've done all of our moves anyway, uh, the pre-draft listment. All right, so we've got pick one. We're going to enter our pick, and there was one player which I wanted. It was this P. Ashcroft person. Of course, with pick one, I'm going to take the one which I wanted. That's why I moved up to pick one was for that, and... Uh, good was another one which I wanted as well. Uh, he was the other one which I was going to take. So we've done really well with the picks that I've 
uh, used. So I've got some good players. A crumbing forward, beautiful. Kind of got Jack Higgins kind of attributes. That could be very handy. Uh, this K Melbourne person, fine. Um, right, who else are we going to go ahead and offer up a deal for? Um, let's see. Want to try and be finding that high potential. This leading key forward. Oh, a crumbing forward with a 90 to 99 overall still left at this stage of the draft. And I've got a couple of late picks as well. Uh, I did see that I Bennett person, so I'm going to take them. And I don't think I've got a whole heap more picks. I think I've still got two more to come. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, let's see, who else could still be around at this stage with a good potential remaining? Not a whole heap of players. In all honesty, there's not a whole heap here with great, um, great uh, potentials. But of course, if you guys were watching the uh, AF Evolution 2 series, you'd know that I was looking for players with good potential because that's what matters. You want to try and find players with good ratings as well, but the potential uh, definitely is what you want to look for because the potential can be there. Sometimes the potential isn't there, so you try and get a mix of both. Uh, leave it to list management. I'm pretty sure we've done everything. Have a look at the amount of players we got, which most of these were from the draft, in all honesty. Uh, there were a couple of players which um, were moved on because they just didn't want to be here. But aside from that, I think that we did a really good job in this rebuild. All right, so time to go ahead, go through the season uh, as we usually do. And, uh, yeah, we've got the Hawks at RSEA Park to begin things. So let's go ahead and... Um, Begin things nicely done there. 24-point win over the Hawks. Accuracy, a uh, bit of an issue for that for us in this uh, in that game. It doesn't really matter playing the Giants first game. Sunday, good win, good start to the year. Got the Cats now at Marvel Stadium. Nice win, 14 points. So a couple of things which I've noticed straight away. Accuracy has been a problem, but we've been winning games though. And that one is a disappointment. Happy with the start to the year though. We've won two of our first three. Ds have won all their first three, though. We need to gather around and Melbourne win that one by 18. Okay. Things, fair to say, are starting to get a little bit worrying now. The Dogs have won their last two. We've lost our last two. The Dogs win by 45. All right. Fair to say, it's getting a little bit more worrying now. We start our year off well, and we've just slumped. Anzac round now. Got the Giants to finish off the round at Marvel, and... Uh, yeah, got to try and bank some more wins. And, oh, it's another disappointing loss. Well, this is one which we've got to bank, though. The win against the Suns. We lose it. Oh, no. Getting plenty of these prime time slots, though. Oh, no. We lost to the Blues by two. It always hurts when you don't do well in the second year of a rebuild. We didn't do a lot. We didn't change a whole heap. And with that statement, well, that gets us another win. We are still relatively far away from finals, and I was about to say the surge is coming. Well, looks like we're going to have to do a real surge. We're going to have to do a real surge. We're going to have to get on a winning streak. We're going to have to get on a huge winning streak here, playing North Melbourne. Got to get on a winning streak. Is that the start of it? It's a 48-point win. We need to get on a winning streak. We've got Adelaide who are on the bottom of the ladder. And, well, in EVO, and even in AFL 23, we've been known to lose. 26 point loss. We've been known to lose those kind of games and um, unfortunately enough it's just not looking to be the year. We win that one by 23. Nicely done. We're playing the Cats now. MCG but no, we've been dangling to out towards the bottom and it's another harsh loss. And we didn't do a lot but we didn't really improve either. We win by 24 and finals still alive. Got to get these wins though. Knocking off a Top eight contender in Sydney is a good start. We lose by a point. Heartbreak, more heartbreak. We've lost that many close games, it's ridiculous. Got the Bombers now, doesn't even matter anymore. We've given up now, the season's over. Doesn't matter, we're gonna end up finishing bottom and yeah, we lose by 12 and bottom should just about be ours now. It's a horrible, horrible, horrible rebuild this one. One which we'd definitely rather forget than remember. Um, but look, the race to the top eight is being close. We can still finish as high as like 11th or something, but doesn't even matter. Just just get the draft pick now. We've got two games to go. Where can we finish? What, maybe 12th or something? We win that one by 10. Let's just at least knock off North and finish 13th. Let's just at least try 
knock him off, finish strong, beautiful. 14th is where we finish. Not great, not great positioning. Would have been good to have featured in four one. It was, it was a good list. It was a, it was a good list, but um, yeah, unfortunately enough, Ross did well in the brown low, but didn't rack up a whole heap of votes. Obviously not kicking enough this year. Um, yeah, Crouch with twenty goals. That's uh, not great. And even our pick one is not even on this list. Didn't even poll a single vote for the rising star. We moved up, we traded up, we traded a fair bit for nothing. And Nick Caulfield, though, the one that I did sign on, which I am pretty happy with that move, I must admit. Um, but, yeah, you're going to... Not great. Not great at all. And Essendon end up losing to the power by a fair bit in the ground. I took Port players. And they won it by 68 again. Yeah, um, lessons learnt from this rebuild. Lessons learnt. Finished 15th in the end in the bottom four. Uh, yeah, not a great rebuild, but thank you guys for so much for watching our oh, rebuild list before we finish. Um, right, so we've already done West Coast, Western Bulldogs, Geelong, Essendon, Collingwood, Gold Coast, Adelaide, Sydney, now St Kilda. Uh, it was not a great rebuild, but hopefully next time, which is going to be Melbourne, will be better. Uh, so yeah, Melbourne, Port Adelaide, Carlton, Hawthorne, GWS, Fremantle, Brisbane, Richmond, North, in order, still to come. Thank you guys for so much for watching. Please do make sure to leave a like. And subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you guys in the next video on the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye, everyone. Flame footy out.